Jake Paul and his family and his friends and everybody around him and everything. I can't do this anymore. What is this? What the f- well I just finished watching the finale of the Shane Dawson series, Inside the Mind of Jake Paul, and I think we all owe Shane Dawson an apology, but there's also some really good lessons we can learn about this whole situation. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about trying to help you with your mental and emotional well-being. So what I've been doing is pulling different mental health topics from the Shane Dawson, Jake Paul series, and using that to teach you how to improve your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So first I wanna send a huge thank you to everybody who came and joined the live viewing party. Like we were in there for like three and a half hours. And it was awesome because we were able to get my friend Kay from the channel Bipolar Pug, we were able to get her to a thousand subscribers, which is amazing. She is one of my favorite mental health channels and she's a good friend. And Zach, the editor, I'm gonna link down in the description below. Um, his family is going through a rough time, so he has a GoFundMe started. So if you wanna donate to that, even if you could do a dollar, five dollars, whatever it is. But Kay and Zach were also moderating, as well as my beautiful girlfriend Tristan. And and one of my friends who's a fellow YouTuber, Positively Udo, was also moderating the channel. I'll link Positively Udo down in the description too. But anyways, the live stream was lit. All right, so this is interesting. This video is actually something that I had planned, but like, I, I really wanted to make it even more so after watching this. So like my my overall reaction to the finale, like if you if you watch like my live stream, I was clapping. I was like, dang, like Shane proved everybody wrong. Shane proved everyone wrong. And it's interesting too because before the final the finale came out earlier today, Shane actually commented on my video um, where I was talking about how Alyssa Violet is manipulating Shane Dawson. And Shane Dawson commented this, haha, I'm definitely not being manipulated. I'm letting people say what they feel is their truth, but I'm not trying to fight them on it because that's not what I do, except when it comes to Jake because he's the main subject of the series. Hope you like the finale. So I actually shared this over on my Instagram and uh, yeah, and like this is like just one of the things like, I read people, and that's why I love doing these videos, because I read people, right? And Shane is just like a really legitimately good guy. Like, I can't tell you how Shane has like restored my faith in YouTubers. Like over the last year, I've reached out to people just to say hi or chat, and they blow me off. Like they blow me off, and I'm talking like, way smaller, like way smaller than Shane Dawson. And Shane Dawson actually takes the time to comment on this stuff, like, Shane's a good dude. Shane is a good, good dude. But anyways, so I'm gonna be completely honest with you and my girlfriend might not like that I'm telling you this, but like I saw Shane commented and I'm like, okay, cool. And then I, I, I get self-conscious. I'm like, oh my God, like did I, did I make Shane mad? Like did I make Shane mad? So I actually shot him an email just like, hey dude, I just wanna you know, make sure and stuff. And I, I, I pretty, I kinda knew that he didn't think I was being malicious or you know, anything like that, but I, I sent him an email just like, hey man, you know, um, I, I try to word things very carefully. I try to say, you know, these are assumptions, this is what's going on, yeah, da, 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 and all of that. And like Shane, you know, emailed me back and he's like, no man, I totally get it, you know? So like, thank you Shane for reaching out, amazing guy. But anyways, I think that's a good topic too. Like, you know, when you get self-conscious, especially if you're like a people pleaser and we don't like making people mad at us, you know? And it's, it's just interesting. It's just like, I never want, and that's one of the reasons why I made my follow-up uh, Alyssa Violet video. I don't, I don't want people to get the wrong idea of me. And sometimes I can't change that, but in some instances I can change that, right? So like with the Alyssa Violet follow-up video, I wanted to make sure you had a more well-rounded view. But anyways, Shane like, <laughs> I'm gonna say it right now. I think Shane could be a therapist. I don't know. I don't know. I, should, I don't know. I don't know if I need to like go into any more detail, really. I think Shane has a lot of skills to be a therapist, and here's why. So, as some of you know, I worked in drug and alcohol treatment, and basically, what we're what we're seeing from throughout the series is that Shane Dawson sat down 
And, and this is something that we were wondering, like is Shane trying to fix people? Is he gonna call them out on their stuff? Like Shane for all of the other seven episodes, was just sitting down, you know, like not all seven, but like with Nick Crompton, with Alyssa Violet, you know, he was just sitting down and letting people share their truth. That was it. He was just keeping his mouth shut. But like we saw clips in this video, like Shane was losing his mind, right? But in this finale video, just on it, on it every single time. He called Jake out every single time. And like Shane said in that comment that he left, like, the main focus of this series, which I think we all forgot over these last few weeks, the main focus of this series was Jake Paul. It wasn't inside the mind of Alyssa Violet. It wasn't inside the mind of Nick Crompton or Erica Costell. It was in, it was the mind of Jake Paul. So Shane took all this and like, they did an amazing job editing. Amazing job editing, like, throughout this, like, I can't, like, I have even more respect for them not knowing, like, I already have this respect that they're a two-man team, but the way they edited this and, like, the amount of footage that they put in, but the reason why they edited it so well, they would show video evidence of Jake Paul contradicting himself. They would show vi video evidence of Alyssa Violet contradicting herself. And by the way, Zach and I have like a million notes, so I have a lot of videos planned. There was so much to take from this almost two hour video, okay? Um, and Zach is going to be overworked, but it'll be worth it, Zach, I promise. Like we, we were wondering, like is Shane being manipulated? Is Shane not seeing this? Shane saw all of it. Shane ain't no fool, Shane saw it. But like the reason I was saying like Shane could be a therapist is like Shane had the same look at, on his face. Like I deal with people with drug addictions and alcohol addictions and they're they're big BSers, right? And like I get that same look that Shane does. It's just like kind of like uh huh, uh huh. Like just feed me your bull. You know what I mean? Um, Zach, edit that, bleep that. <laughs> but like. I get that same look, like, yeah, just feed it to me. Just keep giving it to me, right? And then after you're done, I'm gonna call you out on it. And that's exactly what Shane did. The other thing is, is like, I was originally gonna make this video just like, sorry, Shane, like, sorry, cause I empathize with you. Because throughout this series, throughout this series, Shane has been getting backlash, just left and right, left and right from the whole, stigmatizing mental illness, to the better help thing, to the Katie Morton stuff, to being nice to Jake Paul and his family. And just Shane has been getting hit from all directions, right? And I feel so bad for him, okay? And then aside from that, aside from the millions of people just freaking out, right? Then Shane's also putting up with dealing with these kids. And like you saw Shane like throughout this episode have these like little miniature mental breakdowns and I get it. They're all lying to each other and lying to themselves. Wait, I think Jake is bad, he did this. Oh, Erica's like, oh wait, she's bad, she did this. Faze is like, oh, he did that. It's just all ba 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 ba. I get it. Like, he, like Shane is a 30 year old man and he's talking to these kids and Shane has matured and learned these things. Like you guys, if I'm just being honest with you, I, I love playing Fortnite with my son and I can play with him for a while, but like sometimes he'll like invite a friend to play with us too. I could play maybe one or two games, right? So like I can empathize with Shane in that regard. And I think, you know, that's the overall lesson I wanna teach in this video is empathy. Empathy, empathy, empathy. Like, you know, I talked about it a little bit, like when Shane was sick and in bed and the lack of empathy that people had, but like, but look what Shane's doing to put out this content and the stress he might be under. Like I'm working on my own little film projects right now, like very tiny. And like what Shane's doing at this scale is just bananas. And, and just there's a, there's a lot of entitlement and lack of empathy, right? So the last subject I wanna talk about, which I think is the biggest lesson that everybody needs to learn from this is like, we judge things way too quickly. We make these snap judgments. This was an eight part series and people were freaking out by episode two, right? We didn't have this whole well-rounded picture. I'm guilty of it too, you know what I mean? And like, we didn't have this whole picture. And you know, when I saw this, when I saw Shane being who we wanted him to be, calling Jake out, being brutally honest, giving him tough love and all these things, I'm like, dang, we were assuming all these things of Shane, but like here's where the empathy comes in. So 
It's interesting because I have a perfect example. This actually happened to me today on Instagram. From the post, from the post where I posted that uh, Shane Dawson's comment on my Instagram, I posted it. I mentioned something about my video about Alyssa Violet playing the victim and somebody in the comments on there blew my comment section up. They blew my comment section up. So I replied to the first comment and I said, judging by this comment, I don't think you watched my video. Then she made another comment and I'm like, okay, now I know you didn't watch my video. Then she put her opinion 10 more times based on like a small Instagram post when I have a laundry list of videos, right? So if I don't want people judging me for a very small part of who I am or my content, how is it fair of me or how is it fair of you to judge someone like Shane for two videos in an eight part series. And like, yeah, we're all entitled to our own opinions and judgments, but I just want you to check in with yourself like that because this is something that I deal with as a YouTuber. I get, I get passerbys all the time. Like a lot of you are subscribed to my channel and you have the notification bells turned on. And, but there's a lot of passerbys. There's some people who just, the algorithm recommends one of my videos to, me, to them. They, they see one of my videos. You guys, I have over 500 videos on my channel. They see one video of mine, one 10 minute video of mine, and they think they have this well-rounded picture of me, and they don't. So I often have to think, if I don't like when people do that to me, how is it fair that I do that to other people? So just think about that, you know? It's, it seems like that cliche old saying like, you know, treat others the way that you would wanna be treated, but it's some real stuff. Like we need to treat others the way that we wanna be treated, no matter if they're a YouTuber or whoever it is. Like I, I, I empathize with people and I think a lot of people deserve another chance. I think a lot of people deserve forgiveness. Why? Because I screwed up a lot in my life and I want forgiveness. One thing I'll touch on lightly real quick is, you know, Shane Dawson when talking with uh, Jake Paul about the Martinez twins and, you know, some borderline like racial things, right? Like Shane Dawson could empathize because he went through that. So who would Shane Dawson be to go in hard on Jake Paul for that when Shane Dawson has been accused of that kind of stuff in the past. You see what I mean? But anyways, anyways, I think we all own Shane Dawson an apology, so here's what we're gonna do. If you're on Twitter, if you're on Twitter, let's all tweet at Shane, hashtag sorry Shane, all right? Hashtag sorry Shane. <laughs> but anyways, I wanna hear from you guys down in the comments below. Do you feel that you you have these snap judgments? Do you judge people way too quickly before you really get to know them? Let's talk down in the comments below. My girlfriend said something in the live stream. She said, a lot of this boils down to black and white thinking. And it's so true. So let's talk down in the comments, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I have a lot, a lot of videos coming out about this last episode and the different mental health topics. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you would like to support the channel over on Patreon, you can do it for as little as a dollar. Click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Hashtag sorry shame.